Hello everybody, welcome to another video on my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Rini Rose Matthew. You can check the description uh, to find out something about me and this channel. So today's topic is how to enrich your vocabulary. Uh, this is one of the most requested topics and I thought of just talking about it. I'll give you some pointers so that it helps you to enrich your vocabulary. Yes, it is very important to enrich your vocabulary. I'm not talking about using flamboyant words and language to convey something because language is definitely for you to express. But when you have some color and when you add some flavor to it with good, nice words, it becomes more fragrant. At the same time, you also feel confident. So this is for you, how to enrich your vocabulary. I'm going to connect today's topic with this. You must be thinking, what am I trying to tell you? Because this is something which is different. It's totally different in the sense it has got a lot to do with recycling process. And how can that be connected with language learning? Well, it could be connected with language learning or any skill that you are trying to develop in your life. It could be dancing, swimming, communicating, or even sometimes cooking, whatever you want to do in life. So these three pointers, reduce, reuse, recycle. I'll begin with reuse first. The first pointer is reuse. Of course, reuse you know when it is connected with the recycling process. But here I'm going to connect all the three points with language learning or enriching your vocabulary, which is very important. If you've got a problem with pronunciation or grammar, you can use these three pointers there. Okay. So reuse. If you listen to something, if you read a particular word or sometimes when you're engaged in a conversation with someone who is really good with the language or good with any skill, try to use it again. Reuse. Take that word, take that phrase. You can note it. Your brain is very smart and try to use it in your conversation or in your writing. Uh, use different modes like speaking, writing or sometimes drawing pictures. That is reuse because the more you use it again, you become confident with pronunciation at the same time you're using it again and again consistently. So subconsciously, you're giving practice to yourself. I have uh, seen a lot of learners who sit and study in a, a particular language or a skill. For example, I'll study from this time to this time. That is actually good. But still, consciously, when you do certain things, it may become boring for some people. I'm not talking about everyone. Okay. So this is something which everybody can just try out. That is use whatever you listen to or, or read and incorporate that into your conversation. That is the first one. What is the second point? Second point is reduce. See, you know what your problems are. Before a particular problem is treated, why do you have to tell that I've got this problem, I've got this issue? So before the problem becomes an issue, let's treat it. Let's pay some attention to it. And what is that? How do you do that? When you know that your pronunciation is not correct or when you know that your grammar is not correct, you can refer, first of all, refer the video that I've given in the description so that you can do it much better. At the same time, Make an effort to reduce the error. For example, if you know that you're making a pronunciation mistake with the simple word English, it's not English. You know that you're pronouncing it wrong because when I speak to some people, they tell me, yes, yes, I know it is wrong. Make an effort to reduce the error. You don't have to have that fear. Oh, I'm going to make a mistake. So I shouldn't use that word again and again. When you reuse it, when you give practice to yourself, definitely you will reduce the error and gradually you will notice that it has almost vanished from your language, from the way you speak. So over a period of time, it reduces. So take an effort to reduce it. Now, what is the last point? That is recycle. What is the meaning of recycle? It actually means uh, when a product or item is no longer useful, you discard it. So they are broken down into component materials so that it could be used for something else where a new thing is created. That is recycling. Suppose you have a bicycle which is no longer uh, in good condition. You want to just discard. It's thrown off. And during the recycling procedure, during that process, 
it is broken down into materials into components so that another object is used with these things that you have got from the old one so that is recycling okay the same thing could be done to develop a skill you have to break down whatever you listen to whatever you read suppose it is a book that you read suppose you listen to a very good speech these days i know many of you listen to very good youtube channels good resources are there you read you sometimes even make use of uh, good conversation with experts and uh, stalwarts in the language so break down a theory break down a word find out antonyms synonyms uh, try to take a part of that word and use it in a sentence or sometimes try to create a new word with that and use it in your own sentence not just using in sentence you can draw a picture or if you find that silly you can use it in your own sentences write something down so that is actually recycling it is not same as reusing reusing is you're taking it just like that absorbing it like a sponge and then using it in your conversation or writing for example if you come across this word uh, contrivance i've given it in my youtube shorts what is the meaning of contrivance please check that so if you're listening to this word for the first time use it in your sentence write it down now recycling is breaking it down into smaller components that is the meaning so contrivance is making a plan a schedule to do something to achieve a target to achieve a purpose okay so take those words break it down something that you can digest like plan schedule organize and then make sentences create something new and then go for the next level now that doesn't put you in the state of being a medium learner or a beginner it's always small and steady steps so take these three steps these three pointers use them in your life seriously and today is the day to start it it is all your initiative and i hope that these three pointers help you to have a better life a recycled life for you to develop a skill happy learning and this is rini rose mathew bye bye